a very good morning to my dear students i hope you all are fine today we'll begin with chapter number 10 that is banks and simple interest so in this lesson we are going to learn about bank simple interest and also different accounts or different types of accounts so this is your algebra topic okay so now let's begin with the lesson so now you are able to see a word on the screen what is that word yes it is bank so can you tell me what is a bank yes a bank is a government recognized institution which deals with financial transaction or that carries out transactions of money okay now bank makes it easier to plan the use of money that is it helps us to do financial planning we can either deposit money that is save okay or withdraw money from it withdraw means to remove okay now for that purpose we require an account in a bank yes and how to open an account in a bank we require some documents is it we have learned about that documents in detail last year yes that is on the screen you are able to see the documents required for opening an account in a bank so this year we are going to learn about the different types of accounts they are current account saving account recurring deposit account and fixed deposit so first we we'll learn in detail about the current account so a current account is mainly for traders and those persons who are dealing in money on a daily basis okay now an account holder can deposit or withdraw money any number of times in a day did you understand the bank also gives a passbook for this account and on demand it also provides with a check book and always remember children the bank does not pay any interest on the money in this type of account so the money can also be withdrawn or deposited by check now we'll learn about the second account that is saving account so a person can deposit a minimum amount that is 1000 rupee or 500 2000 rupee and then he can start a saving account but in some of the banks this minimum amount is not required yes and the bank pays interest on the basis of daily credit means whatever your amount is there no in your account on that bank pays certain interest okay but there are some restrictions yes and these restrictions are on how often money is been withdrawn from this bank account okay now for this account also bank issues a passbook and also provides a check book on demand so the next account that is recurring deposit account in this account the account holder can decide the amount to be deposited every month in the account means in short rd have you heard about it yes so you can decide the amount for example 2000 per month 5000 per month 10000 even 500 okay so you can decide the amount but that amount you should pay every month in this account okay now when you are paying this amount you are also getting interest on these deposits okay but children this interest is more than the interest which is paid for the saving accounts okay now this account is very useful because it inculcates a good habit that is the habit of compulsory saving yeah means every month suppose you are deciding 2000 rupees then every month you have to pay 2000 then is it inculcating a good habit of saving money yes so we can save money and also when after suppose now 2000 rupees every month you are paying for one year yeah so after completing one year means how much rupees will you get 12 months are you paying 2000 that is 24000 rupees will you get 
plus children you will get the interest yes so you are going to get the money which you are paying plus the interest which bank will provide you on that money okay so such kind of account is called as recurring deposit account you can or it is convenient to have a joint account for example like husbands and wives okay or guardians and wards wards okay now <coughs> besides account of business partners it is there okay recurring deposit account is of business partners housing society trusts of voluntary agencies etc and are required to be operated by more than one person okay because in housing societies business partners there are more people is it so it is operated by more than one person so now let's learn about the fourth account that is fixed deposit okay so in this account a depositor deposits a certain amount and this certain amount is deposited for a fixed period in a bank for example now on the screen you can see there is a calendar which month is going on and which year yes march 2018 okay now you can also see a person is paying certain amount okay so for example if he is paying this amount on 6th march 2018 and the amount is 50000 okay then he also has to fix the period yeah now he has fixed the period what is that period you can see in the calendar that on the screen the calendar has changed now it is 2020 that is earlier it was 2018 but 6th march okay now it is 10th march 2020 means period is also fixed how much period it is yes it is 2 years and 4 days yeah so he has kept how much amount for example how much amount we had taken yes 50000 means he decided the certain amount he also fixed certain period and he deposited a money okay so such kind of account is called as fixed deposit okay now this deposit which is paying for fixed period is having a greater interest than the saving account and the rate of interest of fixed deposit is different in different banks did you understand children now for example he has paid 50000 yes so after 2 years and 4 days he will get 50000 plus the interest whatever was there when he was paying the amount okay and one more thing children that is the senior citizens yes that are the old grandparents yeah old aged yeah so this senior citizens get a slightly greater rate of interest than the usuals so now you can see the other facilities which are provided by the bank what are those facilities the first one that is atm cards below that mobile banking side the first one that is online banking and below that we are having credit cards and debits card okay so bank is providing all these facilities so you can see once again the same pictures yeah that is atm card credit cards and debit cards now what is the full form of atm yes automatic teller machine what is the use of this atm yes atm card or the automatic teller machine card is used to withdraw cash without going to a bank okay and a credit card or a debit card is used for to carry out transaction without using a cash okay so an account holder gets such cards on request from the bank also the bank provides us with the passbook and here you can see how the entries are done in the passbook so here on the screen we are able to see some of the entries from one of the bank passbook okay so in this different columns they have given us the information about line followed by date particulars 
check number amount withdrawn amount deposited and last that is the balance so we'll learn how to read and understand the entries from the passbook the first entry is on 2 to 2016 it was by cash and here if you will see then the amount was deposited how much amount was deposited yes 1500 and when 1500 was deposited the balance was 7000 okay now the second entry if you will see then it is on 8 to 2016 by check and they have given us the check number. What is that check number? 232069. And that time also money was deposited or amount was deposited. And how much amount was deposited? 5000. Yes, means saved. Okay. So, 7 plus 5 will give us 12. So, that time the balance was 12,000. Okay. Then the third entry, if you will check, then it is on... 12 to 2016 that also with the help of check but the check number is changing that is 243965 but here the transaction is done by withdrawing the money and how much money is withdrawn yes 3000 so if 3000 is withdrawn from 12000 then what will be the balance yes that is 9000 fourth we can see fourth line that is line number four that date was 15 to 2016 amount was withdrawn how much amount 1500 to self and that time the balance was 7500 and the next entry what we are seeing that is on fifth line and the date was 26 to 2016 that there they have bank has paid the interest yes so it will be amount deposited how much amount was deposited in form of interest 135 and that time the total balance was 7635 so did you understand how to read the entries and did you understand about the entries yes so when the amount is deposited it increases withdrawn it decreases and this is going on that time bank also pays certain interest so we have learned about the entries how they are done in the passbook